Hi everyone, this is Jeannie Ellis, also known as Scrapbooking Mama, And I want to share a project with you of how I'm going to be putting it together and doing the different uh, elements to this project as a guest design team member for Jessica Lynn Original. I'll put a link below to uh, what I got, but first let me share with you what I received in my package. One of the things, I, yes I did already open it, but I want you to be surprised too. One of the things, let me see, one of the things that I got uh, for the stamps is this little dash hound or dash hound or, you know, however different people say it differently. I grew up as Weenie Dog, so, <laughs> and look, he's a little hot dog, and that's what the name of this stamp is, Hot Dog, and it's just so, so cute. I just love uh, the way that face is on here and the little sentiments on there love you sorry I was a brat you're a real hot dog I love my dash hound and little flower there it's just adorable so uh, I'm going to be working with that too sometime and I'll do a video on that but the newest member for 2019 for uh, Jessica Lynn original is this beautiful shelty dog stamp I love this stamp this is such a gorgeous, gorgeous stamp, and the little, the faces are just, she does such a good job at the faces on these uh, dogs that she makes, and this one's a mother with two babies, and here's this one, she's kind of showing off like a little princess, and then uh, this one is called Loving Shelties, uh, this says, I love my Shetland Sheepdog, and some things just fill your heart without trying, and thank you for being a doggone good friend and be the person your dog thinks you are. So I love this stamp and this is what we're going to be working with today. Now I've decided to go ahead and make a uh, doggy treat bag with my uh, stamp. And I think it would be a good thing for a little doggy to have a little treat bag for its birthday or something like that. So I thought that would be a cool thing to do. First, uh, what I want to put together, though, for my doggy treat bag is a topper. And I've already cut out the elements to it. I've just got to glue the pieces together, which to me, that's the hardest part because of, of arthritis in my hands. But my goodness, I can't let that stop me from creating. I love creating. So I am going to use, as you can see, it opens up my little zig pen and I am going to put I, I know it's funny you turn it over and you don't have to turn it over because the same color same texture on both sides but I do it uh, I'm going to add my ink my uh, glue my glue pen to it and I'm going to put some all the way around there because I want to make sure that stays down there then I'm going to take it and I could use ATG or something like that but I think using a liquid glue is a little bit more forgiving. And the liquid glue I usually use, I ran out of and haven't ordered it yet. So there's the top piece there. And then there's a decorative piece we've got to add next. And it goes right on top of that. As you can see, it just goes, it's a light pink color. I didn't want it to blend in with the white. So I'm just going to go ahead, and this one does make a difference in which way you do, because this one has a little bit of texture on one side more than the other, to me, it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of the glue on here. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue the rest of the pieces on. I'll fast forward this part or do it, you know, behind, behind the scenes, and uh, we'll, I'll come back to you. Okay, so I have my topper on, and as you can see, I have decided to name this dog Princess because she looks like she looks very classy and elegant and like royalty sitting there. So that's why I thought, well, you know, that's a cute name for it. So I'll make a doggy treat bag with this topper. Next thing I want to do is to take a piece of paper 
cardstock. And I'm going to use one of my good ones because this is a, a good stamp. I want to make sure I use my good paper. So I'm going to take, set that aside. I'm going to take my little Sheltie. Need to decide which stamp is or acrylic block is best for her. And I'm also going to use the stays on ink. And the reason being is because I like to make sure that it's not going to smear with whatever medium medium I use. Man, that came out perfect. That's a sign of a good stamp. And it can pull up that perfectly. And I didn't use any special piece on the bottom like a, a Misty tool or Tim Holtz tool platform, to anything like that. No Sizzik pad, anything. I didn't use any type of a padding there in these, so that's good. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my lighter color in first. And I do like to take a piece of paper, and I know I, I could do this, I'm sure. Um, other ways, you know, make a chart and everything, but there's been a lot going on, so I don't always have time to make things that I want to do, so, like a chart or something, so, and that, you know, the shelter, you know, from what I, I remember is that it's got a white, little white area in here, and so I'm going to leave, kind of leave that blank, and I'm just going to kind of use the colors, the lighter colors first, and even in the ear there, And I'm just kind of kind of go randomly around. Sheltie is colored. I still feel like there's something not right in here. So I'm just going to take my lightest color. Just kind of go in there. That's probably should have all been white in there. Anyway, she is done. My little princess is done. She's a done doggy. Okay, I have got my doggy colored, as you saw. And as you also saw, I have my topper done. And now I want to work on getting the bag itself done. So while I uh, have decided, what I have decided to do is go ahead and make a little banner. For one of the sentiments, let's see if we can get that to show up. There we go. Be the person your dog thinks you are. In my case, I have a kitty. I have a grand dog, though, so, and she's a good doggy. So, anyway, I am going to use it on the bag. And this bag won't be filled with anything right now. This is just to show you what I'm doing. 
I'm going to take some twine, if I can get hold of it. I'm going to take some twine and kind of go to the, this is, this is going to be considered my back, they're both the same side as far as that goes, and I'm going to glue a little spot here, uh, let's say, right, kind of in the center, not really quite in the center, but I'm going to glue it right there my hot glue because it's not going to be seen on the back there and I'm going to take my twine and I'm going to just wrap it around there a few times it does not have to be perfect by any means and I'm going to turn it over or actually I'm going to leave it on that side because I got to cut it I'm going to cut it right here just a random amount of, of uh, turns, so wraps that is, not turns. So it doesn't really matter again, it's just whatever you want to do. And I'm going to leave that as it is, I, I like it. That's really what I was going for. It gives it just something different to add to the, to the card on top of the uh, bag. And then I'm going to cut another little piece of string of twine. make a bow I might add an, a second bow on top of that a little bit later but right now I'm just gonna leave it the way it is and now I'm going to take my little dog I had put 3d pop uh, dots on it and I'm going to put this pretty little girl right here she, she's just adorable. She is such a cute stamp. And then I'm going to, let's see. I'll make sure where I put this. It's going to be kind of centered toward the bottom rather than to the top. I'm going to put the banner right about here. So get my ATG here. Yeah, I want to make sure I get in the right spot. Right here. Okay, right about there is where I want it. Now, because this bag doesn't have anything in it yet, I am going to have to put it down, uh, glue it down anyway, which is okay. Because I've got some what you call undo that I can take it off if I if I want to. And I have with me the rose that's with the stamp set and the little tiny heart. So I'm going to take the little heart. I'm just going to kind of stamp it. I'm going to put one right here. I'm going to take my rose, my flower. Making sure that I press down well without rocking. Oh, it came out great. I just recently read, and I think I've read it before, that you should turn your stamp up this way and your pad tap down on it. have been cleaned off. I am finished with my project and now I have a little doggy treat bag. Now isn't that just adorable? The stamp came out really good. 
little gold piece here just kind of added to it. And I, I want to tell you again, these polymer, you know, stamps, I think that's what you call them. They're really good, and this is a very good quality stamp. So stay tuned for another video in a few days. Uh, I'll have one up showcasing the Dash Hound. So have a great day and many blessings. Bye-bye.